How many times have you heard people say, uh, when you talk about, for example, being for universal background checks, when they're against that, they'll say, well, let's enforce the laws on the books before mm -hmm. we go past them, right? Mm -hmm. You all have heard this argument, yep. which I think is a, a, a phony argument, but they say it. So I actually said to my team, what laws aren't we enforcing? I mean, seriously, mm -hmm. someone tell me what we're not enforcing. And actually, there was a, a critically important law we were not enforcing, and so I'm here to tell you about that and what we've done to correct that. State law says that if a gun is recovered in a crime, that gun needs to be put into a crime gun database. That's the law in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and it, it was the law before I became Attorney General. And of the 1,200 law enforcement agencies we have, less than 200 of them were actually doing that. And, and even fewer were then sharing the information with other law enforcement agencies. Here's why that's critically important, because we know every one crime gun is used on average in five different crimes, right? And so if you can better track and trace, hence the name, if you can better track and trace these weapons, you can both solve crimes more effectively and ideally stop a crime from occurring in the first place. And so we've been partnering with law enforcement across Pennsylvania to get that number up and to get everybody participating. Here's the good news. The big three, which is PSP, Pennsylvania State Police, Philadelphia Police, Pittsburgh Police, have all now agreed to put their data in and share their data. And I'll, be, I'll admit to you, when I took office, the Office of Attorney General was not putting their crime guns into database. We obviously are doing that now and sharing this information.